Imagine something you've always considered safe suddenly flagged as dangerous. We're tackling a surprising FDA decision today, a move that's not only grabbing headlines but also proving to be a lifesaver. This isn't just any routine regulatory change, it's a pivotal shift that's sparking conversations nationwide about what it means to truly safeguard public health, particularly for those with vulnerable health conditions like kidney disease. This change raises critical questions about the safety standards we've come to rely on and what happens when they fail to protect us. The FDA recently enacted a bold ban on a product that's been a staple in many households, stirring both concern and relief. This decision is particularly crucial for kidney patients, for whom this product has posed significant risks. The sudden shift by the FDA, typically known for its rigorous and methodical approach, underscores a dramatic turn in their understanding of the product's impacts. The urgency of this ban brings to light new findings and patient testimonies that highlight severe health implications, prompting a reevaluation of the product's safety. This action invites us to scrutinize what led to this unexpected decision and how it reflects a broader commitment to patient safety over commercial availability. Recently, the FDA has taken significant actions regarding certain dietary supplements, highlighting safety concerns and potential health risks. Here's a breakdown of the details. Yellow oleander in supplements. The FDA has issued warnings and taken steps to remove products containing yellow oleander, which is toxic and has been found in supplements falsely labeled as containing Tejo Cote root or Brazil seed. These products pose severe health risks, including gastrointestinal, cardiovascular, and neurological effects, some of which can be fatal. Umeri and Amazi products. Another major action was against Umeri and Amazi products, which were found to contain undisclosed prescription drugs such as diclofenac and omeprazole. These ingredients can lead to serious side effects like cardiovascular events and severe gastrointestinal damage. The FDA has advised consumers to avoid these products and has initiated recalls due to the risks posed by these undeclared ingredients. Peptides. The FDA has banned certain peptides like LL37, melanotin-2, and others due to potential health risks, including the possibility of tumors, severe immune reactions, and other serious health issues. These peptides were primarily being used for their various supposed health benefits like anti-inflammatory properties or skin pigmentation enhancement, but were found to have adverse health implications. NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide. NMN has been excluded from being marketed as a dietary supplement, as the FDA is evaluating it for potential approval as a new drug. This decision stems from NMN's role as a precursor to NAD+, which could influence metabolic functions and aging processes. Each of these actions by the FDA underscores their ongoing commitment to protecting public health by ensuring the safety and efficacy of supplements and medical products. Consumers are urged to stay informed and cautious about the supplements they use, especially those that might contain harmful or unapproved ingredients. To grasp the rationale behind the FDA's recent ban, we need to delve into the scientific concerns associated with the products in question, focusing on their impact on kidney health. The key concerns revolve around ingredients that have been found to compromise kidney function or exacerbate existing kidney conditions. Toxic ingredients in supplements. In the case of supplements adulterated with toxic yellow oleander, the concern was significant. Yellow oleander contains compounds that can cause severe cardiac and neurological symptoms, which are particularly dangerous for individuals with compromised kidney function. The kidneys are involved in filtering toxins from the blood, and when they are compromised, the ingestion of toxic substances can lead to catastrophic health outcomes, including acute kidney failure. Undisclosed prescription drugs for products like Umari and Amazi, which contained undeclared pharmaceuticals like diclofenac and omeprazole, the risk to kidneys stems from these drugs' side effects. Diclofenac, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, is known to cause kidney damage if used frequently or for long periods, especially in patients already at risk for kidney disease. Omeprazole, while primarily affecting the stomach's acid production, can also indirectly cause kidney issues, such as acute interstitial nephritis, which can lead to chronic kidney disease if not treated promptly. Peptides and hormonal modifiers 
Peptides like melanotin-2 were banned due to their severe side effects, including potential kidney stress from systemic reactions like high blood pressure and potential kidney strain from metabolic alterations. The common thread among these bans is the presence of substances that either directly damage kidney tissues or heavily burden the kidney's ability to maintain homeostasis and filter toxins from the blood. The FDA's action was prompted by a combination of adverse event reports, clinical data indicating potential for harm, and a reassessment of the risk-benefit profile of these substances. This move underscores the FDA's mandate to prevent harm and protect public health, particularly for vulnerable groups like those with existing kidney conditions. To understand why the FDA's decision is seen as crucial rather than an overreaction, it's insightful to look at real-life case studies that illustrate the severe impacts of the banned substances. Case study on yellow oleander. Reports have surfaced where individuals consuming supplements adulterated with yellow oleander experience severe cardiovascular symptoms, such as heart arrhythmias, which required emergency intervention. These incidents underscore the danger of the toxic substance, especially for those with underlying health issues, including kidney disease, which exacerbates the toxicity of yellow oleander. Case study on undisclosed NSAIDs. A particular case involved a middle-aged individual with no prior history of renal disease who developed acute kidney injury after prolonged use of a supplement containing undisclosed diclofenac. The kidney injury was attributed to the NSAID, which was not listed on the supplement's label, leading to dangerous levels of exposure unbeknownst to the user. Peptide-Related Adverse Effects In the realm of peptides, a reported case involving melanotin II highlighted its dangerous side effects. A user developed kidney complications after using the peptide, which were linked to the peptide's ability to induce high blood pressure and contribute to kidney stress. These cases were instrumental in the FDA's decisions, showing the direct health risks posed by these substances and the urgent need to regulate or ban them to protect public health. The cases also highlight the importance of transparency and rigorous testing in the supplement and pharmaceutical markets to prevent such health crises. With the implementation of these bans, the landscape for healthcare providers, hospitals, and patients will undergo significant adjustments, all aimed at enhancing safety and ensuring effective treatment alternatives are available and transparent. Impact on hospitals and healthcare providers. Hospitals and healthcare providers will need to revise treatment protocols and patient guidelines, especially in managing conditions that were previously treated using now banned substances. This means removing these products from their formularies and finding alternative medications that do not carry the same risks. Medical staff will also require updated training to manage potential withdrawal effects in patients who were using these substances and to guide them towards safer alternatives. Shift in prescription practices. Doctors might now need to reevaluate their patients' treatment plans, especially those who were relying on supplements like NMN or peptides for chronic conditions. For example, with the banning of peptides that were used for their potential anti-inflammatory and other health benefits, physicians must seek out alternative therapies that are still effective but do not pose the same risks. This could lead to increased use of other FDA-approved drugs with similar therapeutic benefits. Effect on patients. For patients, the ban might initially cause confusion and concern, especially for those who felt they were benefiting from these supplements or peptides. Patients will require clear communication about why these products are no longer available and guidance on safe and effective alternatives. There might also be a period of adjustment as they transition to new treatments. Additionally, patients might face the burden of increased healthcare costs if the alternative treatments are more expensive. Regulatory and Monitoring Enhancements on the regulatory side, the FDA will continue to monitor the market for any illegal sales or distribution of the banned products, ensuring compliance with the bans. This might involve more stringent checks and the enforcement of penalties for violations, which helps in maintaining public health safety standards. Research and Development The bans may stimulate research into safer and more effective treatments. Pharmaceutical companies might see a new opportunity to develop alternatives that meet the FDA's safety standards, potentially leading to innovations in treatment options available to patients. The implications of these bans are far-reaching, 
affecting every level of healthcare from policy to practice to patient experience. It's a move that underscores the FDA's commitment to patient safety based on current scientific evidence and adverse event reporting. Could the recent FDA ban signify the dawn of a more vigilant era in healthcare regulations? These decisions could be a signal that the FDA is moving towards stricter oversight and enforcement, which might lead to safer, more effective treatments being available to the public. What's your take on this shift? Do you believe these changes are for the better or do they pose new challenges? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's get the conversation started. Today, we've just begun to scratch the surface. The FDA's recent decisions mark a crucial turning point in healthcare, highlighting the critical role of strict regulatory oversight to ensure public safety. These measures reflect a broader movement towards more rigorous health standards, aiming to protect and enhance patient well being across the board. Stay tuned and stay informed as we continue to explore these important changes. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more insights like these. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this discussion enlightening and want to keep up with the latest on how regulations are shaping our healthcare landscape, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Your support helps us bring more such informative content directly to you. Catch you in the next video. Stay curious and informed.